Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm working on these little, um, they look like little mason jars. These are the ones they had out for Easter. And uh, there goes our fire alarm. Every time I make a video, I swear there's a fire or something going on. Um, but uh, I want to redo these and use them for summer because I love to redo these things and use them over and over again for different things. So that's what we're going to do with this. I'm actually going to paint these and decoupage them. I found these napkins I love from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use one of these in one of these jars, and I have two of these I'm going to do. The other one I already painted to save some time. I'm going to do it the same way as this one. And then I also got these napkins. I want to do one with the lemons, because everything I want to do this summer pretty much has lemons and bees is what I want to do. So i got to get going on this here, because summer is approaching fast. So I'm going to use this. This napkin, I actually got these off of Amazon. I'll leave the link below um, if anybody's interested in looking at those. Um, I also got all this ribbon from Amazon, too. Um, it was a pack here. There's um, five yards on each roll, and you get ten yards. So, And you get a lot, a lot of ribbon. And it has ones that say Hello Summer. It has watermelons, some gnomes. This one has all kinds of fruits and kiwis. This one, too, and then some more watermelons. And this one has a little bit of pineapples on it. But I'm good for the one that I'm going to do with the lemons, I actually have this lemon ribbon that came into that pack, too. And I'll try to remember to link all this stuff. Um, but you get a ton of this. I mean, it's a lot of ribbon. So this one has the lemons on it for my lemon one. And then I'm not sure if I want to use this one. has flamingos, and it has some little popsicles on it, too. So I was thinking that might be cute to go along with the uh, one that I got at the Dollar Tree. We'll see. I have that one, or I have this one here that would go with it, too. And this one has, like, watermelon popsicles on it. So I'll see. After I get it all uh, painted up and get the images on there, then I'll decide which one of those I want to use. But I know I want to use the lemon one on there. And then I also have one of these lemons here. I'll show you the pack. I'll try to remember to link all this stuff. I actually got these on uh, Amazon, too. You get uh, 30. 30 of these lemons. I don't remember what they cost right now, but like I said, I'll link it below the video here if anybody wants to check them out. And they're just little plastic lemon slices. And I took my little Dremel and drilled a hole in it and put a string, and I want to dangle this off of the side of the one that I'm putting the lemons on with, under the bow or something I thought would be cute. But you can do so much with these. So I did get those, and then of course you're going to need some paint. Now both of these I'm going to paint the um, bottom part of the jar with this Waverly chalk. It's just a matte white finish. And then I'm going to paint you know, around the tops here. I'm going to use this gray, and then of course we're going to put this tin back on there. I'm going to actually, hopefully this one comes off Yep, as easy as the other one does, and it does. Um, but you're just going to want to take all this off. You can use your jute string over again if you want to. But I want to use some of that pretty ribbon. And now this stuff, it just peeled up pretty easily. I'm actually going to use this side because it doesn't have any of the... Um, you know, it was kind of hard to get all the glue off. And then when I sanded it, it got a little funny. But I did paint this one, and it's just a little bumpier on the the back once you take off this label. Or if you want to leave that on and just flip it over, whatever. But I do want to take off this um, metal piece. And let's see. Yep, that pops right off really easy. You have to get some of the paper off the back of it here. But we're going to glue this back on um, the other side once we get it painted. But they did come apart pretty easy. This was the only, this side was a little bit harder and I just took some sandpaper over it and got the rest of it off. Um, but most of it came right off. But like I said, if you want to leave it on there, I just want to see if I can scrape some of this off here if that's going to come off. But it does come off fairly easy. And then with just a little bit of sandpaper, you can just take the rest of that off really simple. I'm not going to do that on camera because it's a horrible, horrible sound. I wonder if I put my piece of sandpaper. Oh, here it is. Um, but it does, if you just sand it off, it'll take all that. I'll just do a little bit. It'll take all the paper off, all the glue off, and then you'll have a nice blank thing. So I'll worry about that off camera. I'll finish sanding that off and trying to pick off the rest of this. But it did come off fairly easy. This one, of course, on camera wants to be a little more difficult. But I'm just going to sand that right off of there. It's just, you know, a little bit of the paper and glue left. All right. 
So then on this side, we're going to set our little metal strip aside. Um, I want to paint this before I put it on so I don't get paint all over it. But the stuff comes off of that pretty fairly easy. All right, so we'll set that up there. And now I'm going to use a sponge brush to paint this with. Um, just because I don't like to see any lines in it from, you know, like a paintbrush or whatever. And I'm actually just going to dip this right in here. Well, luckily it fit. <laughs> but I just kind of smear this stuff on here real quick. And then just kind of go over it and pat it. I mean, these take takes no time to paint this whatsoever. But I don't like to see the the lines or the swirl marks, but there you go, that part's already done. And it gives it a little bit of texture, and most of that will go away when it's dry, because that is what it pretty much looks, see this is the side that had the paper, that's what it looks like when it's dry, and it just has a little bit of the texture left, so when you go to decoupage your images on there, it blends in so much better than having just like a completely smooth surface. And up here is where I'm going to glue that thing back on, so I'm not too worried about getting paint up there or anything. And then, of course, you're going to want to go down. You're going to want to do your sides. So I'm going to do two coats on here just to make sure it's nice and bright white. Um, I will do that off camera, too, because it's the same thing over and over again here. And I'm just going to take a paintbrush for the top part and uh, paint that gray paint on there. And I get down in there. There we go. But it's a real quick and easy project here. I love quick and easy projects because that's what I need right now. Um, and I stuck my finger on that side. All right. So that is it. And then I got to finish getting that paper off the back, and then. Um, I'll go over this all again with a second coat. And then for the top part, get this paint off of me. I'm going to take a little bit of this gray. This is just the Parisian gray home decor chalk paint. I mean, you can use whatever colors you want. It really depends on the background of the napkin. But both of these have a really white background, so that's why I decided to paint both of these white. And I might put a little more shading and stuff in there um, when it's all said and done, too. But I'm just going to take one of these smaller brushes here, and then the top part is just going to get two coats of this gray. And I'm not even going to worry about doing that part here, you know, in the front, because we're actually going to glue that piece back on it. But I'm just going to go up here with this gray. And then on the back part, I have to sand that off first. I'll show you what I did on the other one for the back part. I just don't want to take too much time on the painting stuff because um, it's going to take a bit here to get all this decoupage pieces where I want it. But that's all I'm going to do to paint the front. <clears throat> like I said, this piece will go back on here and that will cover that up. And then um, this one's all done. So on the back of the one, I just went down like across where the top would end there and just painted that gray. And if you want to do something on the back, you could too. But I'm going to have these like on a shelf or something. So... I'm not going to add any decoration to the back of them, but you absolutely could if you wanted to set it up like in a window or something. All right, let me set these things aside, and I'm just going to show you guys here how I cut out my images for, I don't know how to move this, I can lay this down though because I didn't do the back of it. All right, I will finish that up off camera, put my second coat on there. All right, now there's many ways to cut out your images. Some people like to cut them with scissors. I don't like that because it leaves like a straight edge when you go to decoupage. Um, some people are really good at tearing them out. I am not. <laughs> so I do mine with my water pen. And I'm just going to cut out like some of these lemons here and there. I'm just going to figure out exactly how I want them to look inside my glass here. Now this was a three-ply napkin. So you want to get the other two plies off so you're down to just the single ply of the napkin. Same with these from Dollar Tree. I believe these were only two plies, so I just had to peel one piece off. But make sure you get down to 
the one play napkin. And these are nice because they had the images on all four sides, which sometimes they don't at Dollar Tree. You just get it like on one side and that's it. So you could make a lot of different things with just one napkin. So I'll just show you how I do this. I take a water pen, or you can use like a regular paintbrush, you know, and dip it in some water. Um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out. I want to cut out a few of these lemons here. And I just trace around it here. Don't You don't want to go up on the part that you're wanting to keep. And then I just put my finger on here and make sure you can't see the image at all that you're trying to cut out because you'll rip it. So just make sure that's covered up good and um, you should be fine. I want to get that little piece of leaf off there. All right. But just keep your finger over it like that and just scrape it away. This is one of those little um, spatulas you get like in a paint set. But you could use like a plastic fork or maybe even like a nickel. And you need to do it on something really smooth. Like I have this glass mat here that I got at Michael's. Um, but you could probably do it on a countertop or on a mirror or something like that. It's really something really nice and smooth underneath to do this on if you want to do it this way. Because like I said, I've tried to do it by just ripping it, but I've ruined more than I can tell you. So, let's see. Let me just go around this here. I think I'll leave that leaf there, too. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to cut this out this way. I may cut more of that off. I think I'm going to try to make this leaf look like the top. That'll work. And we'll just cut that little stem off here. And we're just going to piece this all together real nice on our um, jar. So I'm just going to cut that out like this for now. And then I'm going to cut this out of here too because I don't want this straight edge. But that's how I do it. So you have these kind of like rough edges when you're done. But, and this always just works out really good for me. I'm going to cut this lemon off of here because it's not going to look right. There's only a piece of it showing. So we're just going to get rid of that. Make sure I don't cut my stem. Alright, so I think that will look good. Maybe coming off the side of the jar. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to cut out a bunch of these lemons while I'm waiting for my paint to dry. Um, just pick out whatever images you want. I actually might, I might actually cut this out. This might be kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if I want any words on the inside of it. I think I just want the lemons and maybe some of these flowers. But I will keep cutting them out. Now the other one that I cut out, same way, I just went around it with the water pen. Um, I just cut out two of these popsicles because all three wouldn't fit right. So we're going to use those two. And then I cut these words out separately that I'm going to use on here too, which is great. You know, if you don't have a Cricut machine or anything, it's wonderful to find some nice wording. So that is what we're going to do. And then, of course, you're going to need some Mod Podge here. If you're lucky, you can find this at Dollar Tree. It comes and goes there. When I see it, I usually buy a bunch. Um, but you can get it at Michael's, Walmart, Hobby, anywhere. You can pick up some Mod Podge. And this is the gloss. You could use the matte if you want to. It really doesn't make a difference. Depends on what you prefer. All right. So I'm going to wait for my paint to dry here. I'm going to keep going here and cut out some more of these lemons to put in my other jar. And then as soon as that paint is dry, we'll come back and start putting these on. Alright guys, these are all nice and dry. It's actually the next day here because I just could not get back to this yesterday with everything going on. My husband had his cataract surgery and, you know, the just the appointments and the, all this stuff. We had to be there first thing this morning again for, you know, to get checked after his surgery and, you know, it's just busy, busy, busy. But I want to get this done here. So I'm going to glue this piece back on that I took off from the other side and I'm just going to run some hot glue across here. And just put this back on. Make sure I have it up here by the top. There we go. There. And I got all my little lemons cut out. Um, and I got my popsicles and things cut out for the other one. And I have my lemons laid out on that one just so I have an idea of where I want to place them on here and I don't forget. So what we're going to do now is just take our pieces and we're going to start 
putting them on. So I did end up, I changed my mind, I wasn't going to use this piece, but I cut this one out, um, and I thought that would look nice right down here in the corner. So, um, when you get down to your one ply napkin, it's really, really thin, so you don't have to put the Mod Podge down first. I just find it easier in case you need to move it a little bit, like I'm trying to do here to get it exactly where I want it. Um, if you put the Mod Podge down first and you lay this down and it's not where you want it, well, you can't move it or it's going to tear. But anyway, with the one ply, it just goes right through, so you really don't have to worry about that. And this is my gloss Mod Podge here, and we're just going to get this fixed right down here where I have it. <clears throat> but like I always say, whatever works easiest for you guys, you just want to make sure you got lots of Mod Podge on there. So you can move it around without tearing anything. And it's just that simple. So there's our first little image on there. And now hopefully I can get these to go the way I had them laid out here. Just so it's not touching that quite. And then on the edges, you don't have to worry about that. I'll show you guys. A lot of you guys have probably seen me do that. You just file off the edges when it's good and dry with like a nail file. Um, I'll show you that once these are all nice and dry and all my images are on here. But it's real simple to do. So you don't want to get, unless you want your image to go over the edge. Um, you could do that too, absolutely, but I'm not going to do that with these. I just want them on the front. Alright, so that one's on there. And I love working with the smaller pieces. It's just so much easier to do. So now we have that. So now I want this one here to just come in like so. Probably, probably going to add another leaf. I kind of cut out a bunch of little extra leaves to them probably going to add on to this thing to fill in here and there where there's like a bare spot. Just work a little at a time. Just that easy. Um, I think I'll do this one first. Just kind of doing these so they kind of look like they're coming off the edge with their stems. See how I left the stem right to the edge. I'll try to get all my lines going in the same direction here. Whoops. If you get it up here, you can get that off later on. If you don't want it there. Alright, so now this one I kind of wanted like so. That other little one's going to fit in there now, the way I had it laid out. There we go. I'll just try to get most of it off of there. It's just easier than waiting for it to dry. And I have a bunch of these little ones here now. I thought they were going to fit, but I don't think they're going to fit in here anywhere now. So that's fine. Better to have more than not enough. Alright, so now I want to add a few more leaves to fill in here. That one will go right there. And I think I want this leaf up here. There we go. 
Now I'm not sure if I'm going to end up putting this ribbon across the top. I think I want to kind of leave that the way it is. Um, yeah. Let's see. I kind of want to fill this one spot in here. There we go. Too much Mod Podge on that one. All right, and I think I might put another little leaf down here. I'm going to have to cut another one out, but I think I want one more. Um, where is my piece of napkin? I don't know. I moved everything around yesterday, and then come back today, and I don't know what I'm doing. All right, well, I'll get another one of the. Oh, here it is, right here. Uh, see if I can just tear one of these out real quick. I don't have to get my water back out and move everything here. Um, let's see, that's... just need a little leaf. Um, oh, that one should work. Alright, let's see if we can tear this one out. I don't have a lot of luck doing this sometimes, but... gonna get it. There we go. I did it. I did it. All right. And then I think that'll fit right in here nice. Or maybe coming out from right here. There we go. Just to fill in that little spot. Alright, so now I'm going to let this dry before we finish um, putting on the embellishments that I have. And I think I'm going to go around the edges with some of this distressing ink. This is the Tim Holtz. You can get this where they have the ink pads and stuff at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something. Um, I love that distressing ink. And that one's called Vintage Photo. Alright, so we don't need these last two lemons. We're going to set them over there. And now we're going to switch up our things while that one's drying. And on this one, we're going to start out with these. Um, I have the Sweet Summer cut out. Let me put these over here so I don't get them stuck on anything. And then these two popsicles that I really liked. So on this one, I'm going to start out with the Summer down here. Try to get that nice and centered. Way down here on the bottom. And I think that looks about right, right there. Get that laid down. Get our kids outside play, and it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah. And there's our summer on the bottom. So now I want to figure out how to get these in here. They just barely, barely fit. I want it like that. And then I want this one to come in this way. I'm going to lay them out here first. I think that'll be about right there for that one. Okay, whoops, don't stick. So we're going to put these on here. I just thought these napkins were really pretty from Dollar Tree. Sometimes they're not, don't have really pretty prints like this. One's going to come in this way. Yeah, I was hoping all three would fit on here that are on the napkin, but they do not. Alright, 
sorry, I get quiet here, I'm concentrating. So there are our lollipops, and up here is where I want to put the word sweet. Just kind of eyeballing here. You can measure it if you want to. I think that looks good right there. Alright, and then on this one, I want to you want to make sure, you know, if you have any spots where you don't have the Mod Podge, you want to kind of cover that up too. I'm going to go down the sides of these to, you know, shine them up a little bit. I won't do the other ones till I'm done because they have um, some that are still overlapping, but the sides and the bottom and stuff, and then I'll probably go ahead and put a coat on the back too, um, but I'll wait for this to get all nice and dry first. Oops, there's another spot that I didn't get any on. But you want it to all have the same shine. A little piece of napkin that came loose. There we go. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so we're going to leave this alone and let this dry up. And then we can come back and add our embellishments to these. Now in this one I'm going to put these little bees. Now I don't remember if I showed this yesterday or not because like I said I started this yesterday afternoon and I didn't get back to it. But I got these little bees from Amazon too and I think there's like 200 of them in here. Um, I don't remember exactly what they cost but I'll put the link. I'll try to link all this stuff underneath. If I forget just remind me. Um, but I think um, I did. But I love these little bees. They all have little stickers on the back. I actually took them off because I'm going to hot glue these on the sweet summer sign here. I might even put one on my lemon one too up on the top. We'll see. But these all have these little kind of like, you know, little foam stickers on the back there. Stuff glued all over me. But I just peel them off. They come off really easy. Just take your fingernail and kind of pop them off and then I'm going to use the hot glue to hook these on. Alright, so we're going to let all this stuff dry then we're going to come back and finish this up real quick. Alright, these guys are all dry. So now for this one that's hanging over the edge. You just want to take a nail file. I just pick up one of these nail files. You, I think they're like two or three in a pack at Dollar Tree. And you're just going to want to rub down the edge of it just slightly. Not straight down, but just kind of off to the edge. And this will slice that off perfectly. So, there you go. See, it makes a nice straight edge. Let's see, got this little guy over here, that's all gone. That little piece, and then, well, I hope I didn't, nope, that one's fine. And you don't want to do it too hard because you don't want to take all your paint off either that's underneath it. Just do it real easy and it comes right off in a perfect little cut. There we go. Now, I was going to put a ribbon on here. I'm not going to add that ribbon. I've changed my mind, I, which I do a lot when I'm um, doing these things. But I am going to add just a little bow of the lemon um, ribbon up here. I just tied just a little, just a regular bow like you tie your shoes. Um, and then I just cut the ends off of that, whatever size you want to make it. I think I'm just going to put that up here in the corner with a little B on it. I think that'll be cute. Because like I said, I want to do... Lemons and bees this year. So I gotta get a move on because it's almost June and I want it to be ready, but I'm not like usual. <laughs> Never enough time. I'm gonna take one of these little bees. Let's see, which way do I want this little bee going? Probably going down towards the lemons. Whoops. Like yeah, I think that'll be cute. So I'm just gonna put a little drop here, hot glue, and put our little wooden bee right there in the center of the bow. Like I said, you could do whatever you wanted to depending on what napkins and things you're using. But these things are great to repurpose. I love buying these. I always get them every year when they come out. These little like mason jars or whatever, you know, for the different holidays. And you know, you can just kind of think of what you want to do with them after the holiday. So 
I'm going to put a little bit of that distressing ink around the corners yet, I think, too. Now, on this one, I am going to add a little bit of this ribbon. This is the one that has, like, the watermelon lollipops, just because this is so bare up towards the top. Um, where's my scissors? Where are these scissors? All right. Not my good scissors, are you? Okay. So this one I'm going to put right on the bottom of this piece here because it's just... I need it up a little higher so it's not on my words. But we're just going to go right across that line there. And then we'll just tuck these sides in. And I think that'll look cute. And I'll probably make another little bow for this one too. And this one I'm just going to tuck around the back here because I'm... I mean, you can make it go all the way across if you wanted to, if you want to see it from both sides. But like I said, I'm going to have mine up on a shelf, and I don't never see the back. But you could absolutely, you know, make it meet all the way. All right, so let's tuck that back there. There, that looks good. And then I think I'm going to make a little bow with one of these. glue stuck all over me. Alright, so you just wrap that around your thumb and tuck it in. And then hopefully, if you're lucky, you can get all these to go the right way. There we go, that's good. Got our things all hanging the right way. And I think that'll look good right up here on the corner. kind of want that to go up in the air. Let's see. Where are my good scissors to cut those edges I think these are better ones. There we go. Don't want much of a tail on these. That'll work. There we go. Put that right here on the ribbon. Get up there. And then, of course, I'm going to add a couple little bees here and there on this one. That little guy there. And I think I'm going to put a couple down here, too. I thought I had some more here peeled off. Well, oops, there's one. Sorry, I'm peeling sticky off these little guys. Yeah, I think I want a couple down here on this to fill in. I thought I had some more of these. I don't know where they went to. My bees flew away. Oh, here's one. Oh, no, that one's not peeled off either. Ay, 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 ay. I'm just going to set them here until I decide where exactly I want them. Maybe I'll put one there. Maybe one going down this way. And maybe another one up here somewhere. Ooh, and I might want one down here, too. Let's see. Oh, there's my little bee. There you are. Okay, he's already done. I don't know if I want that one up there yet. Maybe. And I think I want one here. I think that will be adorable. Maybe down that way a little more. Yeah, I'm not sure I want another one up there. See, I keep changing my mind. This little guy here. This little guy is going to go right here. I'm done with that. I think that is it. No more bees, no more nothing. Now stop. Or it's going to get too busy. But <laughs> I love that with the little bees on there. Yeah, I don't want any more on the top of this one. All right, now just to go around the edge, I want to take some of this um, distressing ink. Do I have my little ink pad here? Nope, hang on one second. 
All right, got my little spongy thing here. These you get it at Michael's too, in the where they have the die. Let me get that back in the center there. You usually get if you buy this, you get it like three or four of these little sponges that come with them, and you can buy replacements for them too. But it's also the Tim Holtz brand. Okay. Anyway, so this is that vintage photo. Um, make sure this stuff's working good here. I just want to go around the edge of this and get my glue webs off. Just to add a little something, because it's very, very just stark white on the edges. But I think that will look really, really cool. You can kind of smudge it a little bit before it dries. You get a little too much that you don't want there. And you can use a paper towel to do that. I use my fingers for everything. Alright, I think that looks good right there. Just to give it a little definition on the sides. There we go. I'm going to leave this alone because I keep messing with it here. I'm going to be adding more and more and more. But I think that's fine right there. So let me set this little guy over here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the lemons. And I actually might put a little bit um, in here too for this. I think it'll look pretty cool. Give this a little more aged look to it. But I want to start out with the white because that just blends in the... Yeah, I am going to just put a little bit here and there in here. Make this look a little more vintage. Not a lot. I don't have a lot on my sponge here. I think that is it. That is all I am going to do to this little baby here. Yep, I think the edges look good. Maybe just a little extra on the corner. And that is that. So, that is all I'm going to do with these little guys. I am going to set these up here and get a nice picture of them without all the goodies around here. And, um... I will put this picture right at the end of this video. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed these little projects, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.